So now we talk about relative homology groups. So this you can find on page 115 of Hatcher. So the idea is this. You have a space X. Now that is a big space. Uh, this space X has a subspace A. Now obviously since we have space X and space A, we can form chain complexes on space X and we can form chain complexes on space A. So let us write this down, CNX and CNA. So what would be, uh, let us write down the quotient map. So quotient map is defined as the following, it is chain complex on X over chain complex on A. Now this is obvious because whatever is the basis of A is contained in X because X is the bigger space. So A could consist of a few cells and X would also consist of all those cells. So the boundary map acts on, acts on the bigger space X. So obviously it acts on the smaller subspace also. So what we get is that the same boundary map induces a quotient boundary map yeah this is the quotient boundary map so as you can see in the quotient chain complex as c and x comma a the elements of c and a are just trivial so the same boundary map which we used for c and x is also used here so obviously now we want to talk about the homology groups of such a complex so the homology groups of such a complex are called relative homology groups. And we write it as the same way, that is kernel of delta n over image of delta n plus 1. So what are we trying to say? We are trying to say that yeah, delta square is 0 is obvious. So we are trying to say that H and X is a homology of X modulo A. So now we talk about homological algebra. So, so consider the following map of chains. A is a chain complex, B is a chain complex, I see I am writing it in different colors and you will see why pretty soon and C is a chain complex. So let us write down this more clearly. So these are map between different chains. So what are these different chains? So let us write, write down the chain map corresponding to A. The standard AN plus 1 to AN to AN minus 1 and so on. Keep on going on. Keep on, yeah. Then we have a chain map corresponding to B. all these are like chain maps that is kernel of delta n contains image of delta n plus 1 for each of them similarly we write for cn so as you see the map which i have written on the top that is a dot b dot c dot is nothing but a short form for such a map And we are matching the colors of the arrows so that everything is absolutely clear. So everything is properly color coded. So if we have such a chain map and we have the corresponding boundaries, 
we get a long exact sequence of homology groups. So yeah, each of them is a short exact sequence like this from a n minus 1, b n minus 1, c n minus 1, 0 at top and bottom is a short exact sequence. So what does this chain map yield? So this chain map yields an exact sequence, a long exact sequence. So this long sequence does not have any homology groups. That is the homology groups of this sequence are 0. This kernel is equal to image in this map. So these are the homology groups. So when I say homology groups are 0, I'm not talking about groups within this chain. I'm talking about homology groups of this long exact sequence. This is a long exact sequence of homology groups of A, B, C linked together. So again, I'm writing this is an exact sequence. So therefore, given this exact sequence of homology groups, you cannot compute further homology groups out of it.